just never stream. I can't do it. It's, it's never the thing. You know. you I don't know if you saw that. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. The one and only Acrylics. Well, the one. Let's get going. If you guys are new here, subscribe, tap the bell. And make sure you comment below and give me a like. What do you guys think of the video? Check me over on Twitch and Facebook for the live streams. Acrylics, the one and only. And of course, the same. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all acrylics. Let's get right into this loadout. Guys, the Castov 545 is kind of those love and hate relationships. When I first tried the Castov 545, I didn't like it. Damage wasn't good. Recoil was crazy. It just wasn't a good gun. However, as I started unlocking attachments, it got a little better. I was not happy with it until I took it to the firing range and figured out all the attachments that work best on this gun. Listen, just because you use a Merc 4 grip on one gun doesn't mean it works the same for another gun. Every attachment works differently on every single gun. You kind of got to get the secret recipe, so to speak, for every single gun. Let's get right into the loadout. Hope you guys are having a great day. Peace and love for you. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, become a member at any time if you guys are enjoying the content. And of course, comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the loadout and the videos. Give me a like too as it helps the channel grow and share. And of course, follow me on Twitch and Facebook. We'll see you guys. I'm out of here. Deuces. Nice try, dude. It's, it's 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 you took a word. You got a pretty good gun on your hands, Lane, the 545. Securing objective Charlie. Securing Bravo. Never stream, I can't do it. Like back to the sister. One v one them, they're not overly that great. They're not bad team, but I don't know if they use that one.
we're going to go through both loadouts. I'm going to show you guys first the Pro Light 13 stock because it's going to give you sprinting speed, crouch movement speed, aim walking speed, and ADS speed. It's critical to get some speed out of this gun. We're going to run the Grimline laser instead of running attack laser like the 44 V3. And the reason is because the ADS speed on this gun will never be as good as an SMG. And therefore, we're going to want to increase the range, accuracy, and damage of hip fire. And by doing this, we're going to have crazy hip fire buying us more time to go into the ADS, which is what we're going to do. The next, we have barrel options. Forget about the barrels on the left. We're going to be running the IGK 3406 for barrels, and that's going to give us the range that we need. And if we go ahead and go over here and look at the 342 SAC and KL, this is a much quicker barrel for Team Deathmatch, but you could use either for Team Deathmatch or Warzone. I actually go back and forth depending on if I want a little extra speed or a little extra range. We're going to start off with the K3406. Next, of course, the Harbinger D20 is it's going to give us the range, bullet velocity, sound suppression, and recoil smoothness. And we're going to run the Merc foregrip again. And the reason is because the hip firing accuracy and recoil control is as good on the Merc foregrip as it is on the pineapple. The difference is the Merc foregrip gives us much better recoil control in ADS mode than it does on the pineapple grip. Let's go ahead and look at the tune on the stock. We're going to go ahead all ADS speed, name walking speed to give us, you know, of course, a little bit of the edge and to help speed things up. Can't touch the laser. We're going to go to the barrel. It's all recoil and damage range. We go to the D20, recoil and bullet velocity, then the Merc foregrip, hip fire control and accuracy. The hip fire is very good on this gun. Very good, as you guys can see, it just puts them down instantly. And we ADS, get the head right inside the iron sights, can get three kills with a 30 round mag for team deathmatch. Here is the loadout for Warzone. VLK optic is really the only optic I'd ever run for an assault rifle. IGK 3406, Harbringer D20, FTAC Ripper 56, 60 round mags. The tuning is all ADS speed for the optic. Barrel stays on recoil and damage from the team deathmatch setup. Harbringer D20, same recoil, bullet velocity. FTAC Rippers, all recoil and aiming stability. Can't touch the 60 round mags. We go into the firing range and the hip fire is still pretty good. It's only about four bullets more up close to get a kill, but it's still really good. The ADSing on this gun, as you guys can see, is pretty decent for an assault rifle. And not only that, it has practically no recoil whatsoever. And with the 60 round mags, you should be able to break a three plate armor and down somebody with about half a magazine. So if you're in a duos game, you should be able to knock both players with one clip. If you're getting all headshots like I'm getting right here, you probably could knock three players or damn near three players.